Welcome to my quick explain channel. In this video I will show you how can you persist Zustan state with local storage in your Next.js application version 13 or 14 with app router. First of all, let's see how the result will look like. We have several components on this page. Some of them are server-side rendered and some of them are client-side rendered. Here is a product card component that is client-side rendered and also add to cart button is client-side rendered. Almost everything else is server-side rendered. And Zustan Store allows us to add items to cart, increment or decrement these items, remove some items from cart and then persist this state between sessions using local storage because all items from the cart will be stored in user's browser. Now let me show you my project structure. I created the project with npx create next app latest in the current directory and also I use src directory and typescript. Then I installed Zustand to use it in my project. And here is how my project structure looks like. I have app directory that contains only page, layout, styles and fav icon. Also I have global components here. There are components for header, product card, this is the product card and product card that is a simple table. Also I have some entities that describe the structure of my product and rating interface. And the last directory I will show you is store directory which contains cart where cart store is implemented. And also I have use store which I will show you later. To get products data I use fake store API and to generate my interfaces I used JSON to TypeScript program where I can paste JSON and get my interfaces for the JSON I pasted. So now let's see the code. Let's start with page TSX where I import product list and there I define a synchronous function that gets products from fake store API. After that I'm mapping over products object and I show each product in its cart. Here is a product cart component. I have some Tailwind styles here, also next image and add to cart button. Add to cart button is a wrapper which is client side rendered and this add to cart button handles click and adds the product to my Zostand store. Also there is client side rendered product cart that shows all of my products in the cart. Now let me show you how I implemented cart store without persistence. So without persistence means that I can add products to cart then reload the page and all my products from cart goes away. First I have created store folder in my src folder. I added cart.ts to this directory and implemented the whole store. I imported product type from my entities and product type contains ID, title, price, description, etc. Then I extended this product type to contain also parameter count, which is a number, and this count parameter describes how many times I've added this product to my cart. Then I defined cart store type which contains my cart with array of cart items. Then I define some methods on this cart store, for example count which will show number of all 
products in my cart. Also increment, decrement item, add product to cart, etc. After that, I defined use cart store and following the syntax, I implemented all methods I specified in cart store type. Also, some of the methods are using functions from this file, for example, const add to cart, which looks if there is an item with the same ID. And if there is not, then we just add this item to cart. And then we run some logic to do nothing or set item count to one if item count for some reason less than one. And I use use card store in two files in my product card tier 6 and in add to cart button. In add to cart wrapper, I use add to cart method or simply add to insert items to my cart. And in product cart, I use cart to show all products from the cart. So now let me show you how I persisted my storage. The solution comes from Zustand official documentation. And this solution is pretty simple. You just import in persist and create JSON storage or just persist if you want to use local storage because it's default option. And then you write persist and in this persist block you add your card store definition and name of your storage which will be a key in your local storage. After adding Zustan store I wanted to persist it and here you can see how simple it is to persist your Zustan storage. You just add middleware and then importing persist where you put all your card store definition and name of your card storage in local storage. And as you can see, we have hydration error because the initial UI does not match what was rendered on the server. And that's because our card component uses data from local storage and renders this data, but we don't have that data on our server. So there is mismatch between card on the server side and card on the client side. To resolve this issue, you have to add some code to your project. Here's how to do this. You should add a new file in your store directory. And in this store directory, you import use state and use effect hooks. And this use store hook allows us to wait a while to render product card with data from local storage without errors. And in our product card, we added use store and card store type. Use store is our custom hook, which we defined here. And also card store is a type, which we defined in cart.ts. And here you can see the difference. Now we use a store, then we destructure this Zustan store and get card from it. And this use store hook allows us to wait a while and get rid of this hydration error. So now when we reload page or increment, decrement something, we don't get this error. At the end I modified product card and defined some new methods to increment, decrement and remove item from the card. So here I destructure my card store. So we have three buttons here and each button is responsible for some action. For example, increment, decrement and remove. Here are all my handlers that receive additional ID parameter and call function from card store. Basically, that's it. I will leave the link to the GitHub repository of this web application 
in the description. I hope this video was useful. If you have some question, you can ask them in comments below the video or read the documentation where you can find this explanation about usage in Next.js and how to persist your Zustan store. See you in the next video.